So Brad, uh, the Consumer Electronics Show is just over, and there have been just an explosion of announcements around all these cool devices, right? But there's one that's really, really special, a new smartphone from Motorola. And I think, you know, we want to show it because it is really, really cool. We do, and I happen to have it right here. So it is the Motorola Atrix device, like you said, just announced at uh, CES. And it is based on the Android operating system. So it's pretty straightforward, a lot of different devices like this. Mm -hmm. But what's different about this device uh, is very, very interesting. What, by the way, what's common about it with other smartphones is the fact that it's actually a small screen on here and a small keyboard. Mm -hmm. And so if you're trying to use it and interact with it, it's kind of difficult, you know, pull up large documents and that. So wouldn't it be nice if I could take a device like this and sort of get all of this big screen, keyboard, mouse, to interact with it sort of flawlessly? So I can go off in the world and be small, and I can come in here and just dock it and connect into all this space and really be productive. Well, that's what they've done. Sounds fantastic. Yeah, so let's take a look at that. If you take a device like this and use it in its normal mode, you're fine. If you dock it in their dock, and by the way, the dock is connected to a USB, to the mouse, and to the keyboard, and an HDMI out to the display. And you come in here, and as soon as you dock it, it comes up and it says, would you like to connect to the Motorola web top? So mm -hmm. this is what's new and unique here. What it does is it launches this thin layer of Linux and it has WebTop on there. It launches that automatically. It has a dual core processor in the phone and an HDMI out. So what do you get? The thing that's most difficult and you can never get with other phones is you get a full high res display up here. Bang, so there it is, right? Now, it's Linux based, so what do we do? We put receiver in it. In fact, we embed receiver in it so it comes with all versions of the phone. So if I come down below here, a little shortcut, click on that, Receiver fires up, opens up on the screen, takes me right to the same production system we're doing all of our demos on. Right in my case, it's San Jose, so it's sjcxd.citrix.com, and there it is. So when it comes up, I can put my credentials in, connect in, pull up my virtual desktop. And so I'm going to do that right now and show you what the experience looks like. So this is really the same exact system, the same exact experience that you're going to get on any other device. Um, that is going to connect to your Zen Desktop 5 for all system. Um, it is. In fact, I've got to use my uh, RSA, uh, RSA pin here. So I've got the soft version of that on my iPhone, so I'll get that now. Yeah, so lots of times when you're doing a demo, you, know, you don't like to uh, uh, enter a, a second factor. But my experience is when a customer sees that, they, they, it, it's, it's a credibility sort of thing. They see that the security is in place, it does support two factor and that you're using a live, real production system, one that you use every day to get your work done. That's right. So normally when we go and do events like this and we do demos, we always have a big rack of servers in the back room and we're, we're building an IT infrastructure wherever we go. Yep. We're certainly not here for nope. at all. Nope. Because that infrastructure exists now inside IT corporate at Cit Citrix and we're connecting to it now. So there's nothing behind the curtain. We just got this phone plugged into that dock connected to this display, and boy, there you go. I've just connected into a virtual desktop back in San Jose. So there it is, right? And in that, I can go ahead and open up uh, and interact with anything I choose. I click on the browser, it's automatically set to go to our intranet site, right? I can go down here and I can open up uh, Citrix Receiver, opens up the self-service interface so I can get all my applications. In fact, as we've already seen, we've got uh, web, uh, applications in here and the uh, the OCA hooked up with it so that the single sign-on is in the network and as an example if I click on salesforce.com it's going to use OCA and it's going to log me right in so everything that you would expect in your virtual desktop in fact what's interesting is when you plug this thing in and start working away you forget what you're working on you feel like you're on a full PC it's completely interactive and it's high speed and fast responsive everything you would expect you just start working on this thing and it's amazing and guess what when you're done you pop it right out of the dock put it in your pocket and away you go so it's the best of both worlds I think it, it is sort of reaching this nirvana state that we've been looking for right and then you can take that portable power with you and it's your phone and so forth and yet it's a connection to the network in your data if you choose but when you really need to spread out and get some room and use a real keyboard and a mouse dock and go and remember it adds that little layer of Linux in there that fires off the uh, the web top and that embedded with receiver gets you a direct connection in right through access gateway in an encrypted way two-factor authentication in to your desktop to be productive. So, a fantastic announcement, an important announcement for us, because it's just, you know, one more step toward um, 
devices that really um, carry receiver uh, everywhere and make the kind of ubiquitous connectivity and access to virtual desktops and apps a reality. Now one of the interesting things is we've shown you uh, the phone standalone, we've shown you the phone in the dock, but there's actually uh, another mode. There's an accessory that Motorola has um, called a laptop um, dock, and, and basically it's simply a battery with a keyboard and trackpad kind of glued on top of it with, uh, with a screen. And uh, you dock the phone uh, to this portable device and you have everything right on board. You've got the 4G or Wi-Fi connection, you got all the same horsepower here, and you can connect to the same Zen desktop environment to get the same exact experience when completely untethered. In fact, the laptop dock has 10 hours of battery life. So it's quite a remarkable setup. So in one device, you get smartphone, snacking on a small screen, you get a portable medium-sized screen that's kind of like a Mac Air type uh, form factor, and then um, you get a full screen capability with keyboard, mouse, et cetera, like you see here, all with one device and some accessories. So this is a, the shape of things to come yeah. and a very exciting time for Citrix.